Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is my 2011 Specialized Hard Rock Disc. Thought I'd just do a review for you guys. And uh, first off, this is a great bike. I mean, I bought it for $540 from Encino Bicycle Center about two months ago. And uh, it's a great bike. I rode 20 miles with it one day and it only took me like three hours and I was not tired after I rode it. And um, that was on the Contra Costa Canal Trail because I live in California, and that's pretty close to me because I live in Martinez. It's probably about five minutes to get to there. And, um, yeah, so this bike is great. I bought I bought this fender for it because I go riding at some muddy places sometimes, and it keeps on flying up in my face, and it's pretty annoying. I'm going to wipe it off every once in a while. But, um, yeah, everything's pretty good on this bike. I'm probably going to buy some different forks for it because these don't have lockouts, so when you're riding on the street, it's kind of bumpy, but... Yeah, and they have a rebound adjuster right here, so that way you can set it to, um, if you want a quick rebound, or if you want it to be a slow rebound. That's about it. I mean, the brakes are really good on this bike. I uh, I, this, I got free tune-ups tune as long as I have the bike, so I just take it in there whenever the brakes start to get a little, uh, <coughs> a little worn down, and they fix it up for me nice. I, uh, the pedals that come with it are plastic, so I just I uh, bought these off my friend. He bought them brand new from uh, Dan's Comp for his BMX bike. But I was like, eh, I'll just take them off your hands for 25 bucks. And they're, they're the Shadow Conspiracy pedals. They're pretty nice. They don't they don't spin a lot. So even if your foot slips off, you're not gonna like put your foot on the side of it or whatever on the top of it. And yeah, the seat's really nice on this bike. It, it gets kind of uncomfortable after a while, but. You don't really notice it unless you've been riding on it for like about, about half an hour or an hour. And uh, the shifting on this bike is great. I mean, it's... I know you're not supposed to shift it when you're not pedaling, but I just want to show you. It's really nice, and it shifts fluently. There's no there's no skipping at all or anything. I mean, it's definitely definitely a high-grade high, high grade bike. And I mean, if you have more money, I would go with um, the Specialized... Um, Rock Hopper, that's that's a pretty good bike. It's like a step up from this, and I don't know, but I really like this bike. It's it's a great bike, and like the decals that come on it, I thought they were just stickers, but they're underneath the paint, so they put the sticker on, and then they paint it over it. It comes up right here, but this one right here on the fork comes off. It's just a sticker. It's supposed to look like a chain, I guess, or chain link fence, you know, something like that. But um, yeah. So anyways, it's a great bike, and I'll uh. Get back to you guys with a couple more videos. I'm going hunting this weekend on Sunday, so I'll, hopefully I'm going to try to get some videos of uh, me getting a couple squirrels out there, see what I can get. Um, I'll try to videotape me actually shooting them, but it's going to be kind of hard because um, I'm probably going to be the only one there. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll see if I can get some videos of that. So uh, until next time.